Hello there, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot, and we've got your March 2024 money and career reading coming out for you right now. So we've got a lot going on in the month of March, of course. We are kicking off eclipse season on the 25th with a micro full moon in Libra, and this is a lunar eclipse. So eclipses, anything goes. <laughs> we can get a lot of surprises, uh, shakeups um, for the good or for the challenging, right, as, uh, as eclipses come along. Expect the unexpected, basically. In the sign of Libra, Libra brings, Libra brings the energy of balance and harmony, especially between our work and our home or balancing out our financial obligations, right? Maybe restoring balance, if, especially if you've got a significant other of some kind and you share resources, you share money um, with somebody, right? So this is making sure that things are balanced and fair, whatever that looks like to you. Um, this is about finding better ways to um, make money enjoy your job, your career, but also have fun and spend some time at home, right? That balance that we all strive to achieve, but that it can sometimes be a little bit elusive. The Libra energy focuses on partnerships of all kinds, partnering up with the right company, with the right co-workers, with the right department, the right position, uh, partnering up with the right financial people as well. And this can represent legal matters that come in here. So some of you could have some legal matters come to a close. Um, some of you could be uh, facing facing some legal situations here as well. Whatever your situation is, again, you know, kind of uh, expect the unexpected a little bit. Things do tend to happen quite quickly um, or come to light very quickly around eclipses. And of course, full moons, though, are about cleansing and purging and ending things. So this can be really quite positive for some of you. We start off the month with a new moon in Pisces. It's a super new moon. This is bringing about um, big new beginning energy. Pisces is a very dreamy, very imaginative energy. Great time to set intentions for you to um, make your goals and your dreams really come to fruition. So be really clear about what you want. Pisces energy does bring um, a little bit of secrets possibly to light. It is 12th house energy in astrology, and this can represent the end of things where something may come to fruition for you, the culmination of a big astrological cycle. We're about to head into a new one, and um, but it is, you know, kind of very, um, very dreamy in it in its energy, but it's also very spiritual. So you could really be harnessing a lot of energy here at that time to, um, you know, to set those intentions to manifest things into your life in a big, big way. Of course, we've got the spring equinox on the 19th, and this is the season of growth. Um, we're in spring here, folks. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, we're in spring. This is the time of growth, of new beginnings, of planting the seeds, of fertilizing your goals and your dreams, and having some things come to fruition for you. But one of the key themes throughout the month of March is balance. We have the Nine of Wands out there for you guys first up. The Four of Coins, the King of Wands. We're breaking free, people. We've got the Queen of Swords there. I'm going to pull all your cards, then we'll go into them. The Magician right there, right in the heart of your reading, right in the middle. That is wonderful. We've got the Two of Swords. So clarity is part of the key there. We've got the Five of Swords. The High Priestess, there's your spiritual intuitive energy, and the Ace of Swords. Look at all this Swords energy coming out here for you. Back of the deck, we've got the Two of Cups, Balance and Harmony, Partnerships, People Coming Together, um, things coming into alignment for you here. So this can be really wonderful for you. Some of you are manifesting a new job or you're just trying to get things back on track for yourself, um, especially if you've had any kind of money issues or anything like that. Uh, but whatever your situation situation is you're being very resourceful you're trusting in your abilities to resolve things to get things done or to make some big bold moves this can be really quite um really quite wonderful for you but this is a big energy here for you folks we do have the magician and the high priestess coming out for you the magician 
right in the center. Okay, so this is about creating something. This is about manifesting things, setting your intentions, being really clear on what you want, what you want to get rid of, what you want to change, what new you want to bring in, what direction that you want to go in. The power is yours. So don't give your power away, right? This can be a time when you're taking your power back. So if you've been feeling powerless, now is a time for you to be powerful. If you've been feeling as though someone's been undermining you, you're getting things back to where you want them to be and you're saying no, right? We're not going to do that anymore. We're going to um, trust in our abilities to speak our truth, to speak our minds and to put up personal boundaries if necessary. So whatever your situation happens to be, right? You are this magician. Okay. Now, some of you with the magician energy, you may actually have something new coming in for you in the month ahead. Um, this can be really quite exciting. Um, because we do have, uh, we do have the nine of wands, right? So the nine of wands can really show that yes, you do need to find some balance, um, in your world, right? You know, we've got dude there on his knees. Right. But nines are about completion. So seeing something through to the finish line the last little burst of energy. So there might be some things that you're wrapping up. This can be the very end of a cycle, right? Remember all this energy is being activated for you this month and it can take a while to play out. Uh, it can take about six months to play out in some cases, right? You're all in a different scenario. You're all in a different situation, right? But so this nine of wands can be something that's the last remnants of a previous cycle coming in here for you. But with the nines, right? We're tired. We're worn out. We're a little bit world weary, maybe even a little skeptical. Okay. But we keep going, we keep persevering and we never give up. Right. So this can be where you are wrapping up, wrapping something up. This can represent, um, where, you know, no matter what life, life sends your way, right. You always, always move forward. You always persevere. And I feel that that determination is going to pay off for you in big ways. Now, for some of you here, you've had some challenges here with your own business. If you're an entrepreneur, you open your, you have your own business. Um, you may have been feeling that things have been quite tight for you in the last little while. And especially where we have the four of coins coming in here, right, which can be quite a conservative energy. Um, it's where we kind of, I mean, it is known as a little bit of penny pincher energy sometimes, but sometimes that's necessary, right? So maybe you've been feeling like you haven't been able to expand your business the way that you've wanted to. Um, you may feel as though you've had to kind of maybe scale back staff, um, you know, or maybe you uh, have just not been able to be as generous as maybe you want and introduce new product lines and that kind of thing. But I feel here that kind of there's some some of that energy shifting here for you and things about to be opening, opening up for you. And you might need to be a little creative. You might need to be a little inventive. And this is where you've got your magician energy, right? Because sometimes the king of wands is an entrepreneur energy. So if you own your own business, um, or if you have a business that you want to start, right, or get off the ground or expand in some way, this might be where um, you really do need to set a plan. OK, for that, um, just because we do have the four of coins. And while this does bring an energy of stability and security, a good, strong, solid foundation, it is also one where we do need to be a little bit conservative in our approach. We need to recognize the differences between wants and needs and um, act accordingly. Right. So it's also one where, you know, we've gotten to a certain point and we're trusting that there's more abundance and prosperity to be had. Right. But we do need to take like kind of a little bit of a um, conservative approach to get that. Right. So it's not necessarily going to be a wild and crazy month for you to just like toss money around. Um, we're going to want to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more, uh, how should we say, a little bit more balanced than that. Right. So a little bit more discerning um, than that. OK, um, but I also feel that you're going to have to have a little bit of a plan, no matter what your situation is, whether you work for somebody, whether you have your own business, whether you're looking to see about your investments, whether you want to start a new job. Right. Maybe find different ways to make money. Right. There's a lot of thinking energy here for you. OK, um, we've got the two of swords, which can be about making important decision. Right. This can be a little bit of. Um, you know, really needing to go within and trust your own instincts. The high priestess 
is here to help you do that. Trust your intuition, trust your instincts, and trust yourself to make the right decisions, the right choices for you. Because sometimes in the two of swords energy, we are a little bit back and forth. We're a little bit confused. We just don't know what to do sometimes. But with the two of swords, it's important to note that um, that sometimes we look at things in black and white. Sometimes we look at things as a yes or a no or this way or that way. But sometimes it's the gray area in between. It's the maybes. It's the possibilities, right? That um, you know, or it's the uncharted territory that can sometimes really lead us down the path to success. So you might need to be a little bit inventive, or you may need to kind of open your, um, open yourself up to a different point of view, right? A different perspective. And this is where we can kind of really understand or really make the decisions that are right for us, right? Not everything is, um, not everything is right in front of us, right? So the two of swords reminds us of that, but the high priestess, ultimately your inner power, your inner strength here is really what's going to power you through, help you make changes or, um, really help you figure out what your next steps are. But yes, we do have a plan that is necessary. We also perhaps have a very honest, truthful conversation that needs to be had. Okay, we do have the Queen of Swords. All right, Queen of Swords can certainly be your energy. And this can be you making a very clear decision. This can be you really trusting your wisdom. This can be you being honest and truthful with yourself. What do I want? Where do I want to go? What's working for me? What's not working for me? Where do I need boundaries? What do I need to resolve so that I can move forward, right? Because we do have a five of swords here as well, right? Five of swords can be quite the challenging energy. This is where we can have communication issues. This is where we can have some conflict that we need to resolve. So you can have some inner conflict that you need to work through. You can also have conflict with other people and it will be up to you. The choice is yours, right? Can I resolve this conflict? Can I get things back on track? Can we turn things around into something a little bit more positive? So it can be your relationship with your money, with other people, with your workplace, right? Whatever the situation is, whatever the conflict is that's going on, whatever gives you this uncertainty, two of swords, right? We need to go within. We need to think about things um, and we need to be really honest, not just with ourselves, but maybe externally as well. Communication issues may really play a little bit of a role this month for you, but I feel that you can resolve them if that's where your focus is, because the magician gives you a laser focus, the ace of swords, laser focus, the queen of swords, laser focus, right? And of course, we've got your intuition at play for you here as well. So Wherever you're focusing your energy is what you will be dealing with this month, whether it's communication, restoring balance, getting something off the ground, starting something new, whatever it happens to be, right? Remember, trust your instincts and trust yourself to make the right choices, all right? But the Queen of Swords is very good at putting up boundaries. So again, you could be really being honest and open um, in your month ahead. And there's something where maybe you do need to put up some very, firm boundaries and especially with this five of swords can certainly can be with somebody that you work with right someone in your world right and it's like no we're not playing that game and you're going to be very crystal clear the queen of swords when the queen of swords is by your side you are clear precise to the point you're honest you're truthful and there's no doubt about the point that you're trying to get across here. So it's a great energy to have walking with you. Um, but I do feel that some of you are finding a different way, finding a better way. The Ace of Swords here gives clarity where there's doubt, um, gives uh, epiphanies, revelations, right? And is a big answer, right? So you might be getting the answers that you're looking for and the clarity that you've been seeking with the Ace of Swords. This can be from turning inward, from listening to your intuition, listening to your instincts, because the high priestess again always reminds us that we have all the wisdom, the knowledge, the experience that we need from this lifetime and past lifetimes to make the right decisions and choices for ourselves today. And sometimes we doubt that, we doubt that process, and um, we need to trust that. Okay, um, not always easy. Sometimes we doubt it. 
right? Five of swords. Maybe you're doubting your intuition, but don't. So I feel like you may get some sort of sign um, about things that you're working on, things that you're working through. There might be some new opportunities ahead. The Ace of Swords can be you recognizing an opportunity. And with the King of Wands right here, instead of doubting yourself or doubting the opportunity that you may find, you're just going for it. Right. It's like, nope, I know that this is I know that this can lead me towards something good. So I'm going to do it. it can be a financial investment. It can be a new job. Right. Whatever that happens to be. Right. The Ace of Swords can be a big, big yes card, as can the magician. Right. So focus on what you want. Set your intentions. Ace of Swords. Right. Does the power to manifest is yours. Yes, it can take a while to play out. Right. But some of you are getting something this month. I feel like you might be getting some good news. The King of, King of Wands, again, might be someone that brings you some good news or brings you some important information. But this can also be your energy. Kings are always successful. They master things and they're very confident and very sure footed. So this can be you being very confident um, that you have achieved something or that you can achieve something. So there is a little bit of thinking energy coming in here. There's also some very intuitive energy coming in here. So um, your thoughts, your intuition and your ability to make a decision and be very clear with yourself and other people is going to be your key to success. All right. So I do feel there is some res uh, resolutions that are coming in here for you in a powerful way. Um, but we, we need to be open to it. All right. Remember, if we're closed off a little too much, the two of swords, right? We've got the blinders on, the blindfold on. We're a little bit closed off there, right? The four of coins, right? We're a little protective, sometimes a little bit closed off, right? When we open up, and we gain a new perspective or we look at the big picture or we're willing to do something a little bit differently or try new things, a different approach. This is where the magic can really happen sometimes. OK, so um, whatever you've got going on. I think there is a little bit of change afoot for you um, in a positive way and at the very least clarity. Clarity and a sense of purpose is coming in here. But do watch for some helpful people. The King of Wands can be someone that can help you in some way. The Queen of Swords um, can be also someone that can really help you. If you are asking for any advice in the month ahead, um, whether it's uh, financial advice or whether it is just advice on what to do about a certain situation, um, the Queen of Swords can be someone that you do talk to. Just be aware that this person will give you advice and they'll be honest and truthful, but they're not going to sugarcoat anything for you. OK, they're not going to necessarily um, coddle you or take your feelings into account. They're just going to speak the truth and state it like it is. So before you ask the Queen of Wands or the Queen of Swords kind of person for any kind of advice or, um, you know, guidance, right? Just make sure you're ready for the answer. It's not out of malice or anything like that. It's just, you know, it's just to the facts. It's just to the point, right? And uh, sometimes we're not quite ready for that. So just so you're aware, but this can also be you being very crystal clear to the point with yourself. You're very focused. You're very decisive. And if you need to make a decision, yes, no, left, right, stay, go um, this way, that way, right? I feel like you're going to be making a very important decision for yourself on some level. We have manifestation energy coming in here and we have have the best day ever. Have you set your intention for the day today or are you going to let it today be governed by the thoughts of yesterday? These words will help get you started. All good is coming to me today. All my desires will be met today. Magic and miracles will follow me everywhere today. Our thoughts become things. Wherever our energy, wherever our focus goes, that is what will manifest in our lives. We need to remember that. And that magician right there in the heart of your reading shows how powerful you are. So if you think and focus on the negative, five of swords, you will get the negative. If you think and focus on the positive or on a resolution, ace of swords, that is what you will get. Always remember that. All right. Um, we also have here love is the greatest power. If you could wrap every thought in love, if you could love everything and everyone, your life would be transformed. Yes, life 
love, excuse me, is the highest vibration of all. And when we embrace love and we live our life from our inside and project that outwardly, we can change the energy around us and we can create, magician, more opportunities for us, right? Remember, love is the power within and love is the greatest vibe of all vibes, right? Love what you do, love of self, love of challenges and finding solutions. And sometimes that's what we need to embrace as well. So I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please do hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. And uh, don't be afraid to leave a comment in the box and say hello. I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.